Hello and welcome to part 5 of the first episode of the Pioneers Conclave. My name is Dhruv Joshi and in this podcast we bring to you the several job opportunities and the international exposure an IIM Ahmedabad graduate can expect featuring Mr. Rupamanyu Acharya. Do check out our social media handles for more details. To get in touch with Mr. Rupamanyu, do check out our YouTube channel eSell and Skill Hub Jaihin College. His social media handles are listed in the description box. Not taking more of your time, let's dive straight into the conversations. So talking about uh, job op- opportunities after IIM, if you could just brief, maybe, you know, give company names or however you're comfortable with, what are the opportunities after IIM? What can a IIM graduate expect once he's done an MBA at IIM? I actually believe the possibilities are limitless. If you are an IMA grad and you want to get into a field, anything, whether it's cryptocurrency or whether it's fashion design, I think uh, everything is open to you. All doors are open. It just depends on what you want to do. So the companies that approach IMA uh, uh, for uh, summer placements or final placements are just a small subset of uh, the doors that are truly open to you. So if you want to skip out on placements and Uh, approach another company if you really want to work in a niche field that is always an option that's available Uh, most people don't exercise it because the quality of companies that come to the institute is is so great and uh, uh, I personally believe that it is it has the best selection out of any campus including Bangalore and Calcutta at the moment so yeah the sort of companies that come would be uh, consulting firms it would be marketing firms like uh, PNG, HUL uh, in consulting, you have all the big names. You have MBB, McKinsey, Bain, BCG, uh, Accenture. Really, any name that you pick, most of the years, these companies would come and recruit a significant amount of students. Uh, from uh, marketing, finance, again, the big biggest names in the country, Goldman Sachs, Bank of America, all of them uh, appear for uh, campus placements. Then there is the uh, technology or product management companies. These guys would uh, uh, be like Microsoft, Ola, Uber. There's a very wide selection. At the end of the day, if you're one of the 400 students or so uh, in the IMA batch uh, and you want to enter a particular field, most of the time you would be able to do that. So all doors are open to you even within campus and outside campus. Uh, Talking about uh, companies and job opportunities uh, after IIM, what kind of international exposure do the students get? in terms of employment right so there are uh, there are many international offers that come to ima every year uh, and this ranges all, almost across the globe but the number of international offers are limited compared to the domestic offers of course right and uh, this is a trend that has been going on for the last uh, 10 or so years i think since, since 2008, 2008 the number of international offers have uh, dropped by quite a bit uh, there might be many reasons for that, which uh, I don't think we honestly have the time to get into, but it's related to all the financial crisis and everything, the way companies have changed recruiting. So that doesn't mean that there is limited international exposure just because the companies are not recruiting uh, IMA grads and putting them directly in international roles because almost everyone five, 10 years down their career moves abroad. And that's simply because of the way these big multinational corporations are structured, right? So you spend some time uh, working in India, you might get a posting in uh, Indonesia or uh, Europe or any other country, right? Eventually, most people I know, because uh, I know a lot of people from uh, my alumni base and even my father, who's an IM Calcutta graduate, his batchmates, almost all of them have had... uh, like all of them have had international exposure period, but a lot of them are simply based abroad at this point. So uh, that is something that that won't change. You will be, uh, be getting, and especially if you enter the fields like consulting, uh, where directly after getting recruited, you will be flying to multiple different countries almost every week. That is something that just doesn't uh, end. So a uh, very high level of international exposure and the all almost all MBA institutes uh, in the top, 10, 15 will have this, but it is very high at IMA, B, and C. 